Hello my students 8th grade welcome again to English classes for today inshallah we're going to continue our lessons from unit number 8 and today's lesson is listening and vocabulary for today we're going to have two outcomes the first one is to listen to a radio interview the second one is to learn adjectives of feeling so you need to open your student book page 88 and your workbook page 79 we are going to listen to a radio interview and you are going to listen to young people talking about school trips. Look at the photos of the three school trips. Where did the pupils go? What did they do there? So from the pictures, try to predict where are or where did the pupils go to the trips and what did they do there? The first pupil, May, went to a history museum and look for all the clothes and so on the second picture maybe uh, the the speaker went to the zoo and saw monkeys and so on picture number three maybe went to a place to learn uh, lessons and has had dance classes and so on we're going to listen to the conversation or to the radio interview and answer exercise number three to make things much clearer listen again and answer the questions did Hannah and her friends take off their coats? Why, why not? Number two. How did Hannah and her classmates feel about the teacher? Number three. What did Toppy think about the Spanish lesson? Number four. Did Toppy have fun in the dancing class? Why, why not? Number five. Did Kate have a good time? And the last one. Why did the title or the little monkey feel sad? Now you're going to listen to the radio interview and try to answer these questions. So now let us listen to the radio interview. CD 2. Track 33. Listen to the radio interview. Today we're talking to three young people about school trips they'll never forget. So, Hannah, tell us about your trip. Hi. Six weeks ago, we went to a history museum. Sounds fun. What did you do? We went to a school there. It wasn't a modern school. It was a 19th century school. We had to wear clothes from that time. But it was too cold to take off our coats. Wow. Did you have lessons there? Yes, we did. The girls sat on one side of the classroom and the boys on the other one. Everybody had to stand up when the teacher came in. We were really afraid of him. Did you have a good time? Yes, but at the end of the day, the teacher said, You will not go home if you don't pass this test. <laughs> we were really scared, but he was joking with us. The test was easy enough for everyone to pass. Thanks, Hannah. Now, Toby, have you ever done anything unusual on a school trip? Yes, I have. We went to a Spanish day. What's that? We had Spanish lessons in the morning, and then in the afternoon we had dancing classes. Did you enjoy the lessons? No, I'm terrible at languages, so the Spanish class was too difficult for me. And when my teacher started dancing in the afternoon, I was too embarrassed to look. You'll certainly remember that day. And you, Kate? We went to the zoo. And what happened? There was a party for the monkeys. Are you serious? Yes, it was great fun. One of the little monkeys wasn't tall enough to get to the table. He got really upset and started crying, so we helped him. Thank you. If you have a school trip story, email us. So here are the answers. Number one, did Hannah and her friends take off their coats? Why, why not? No, because it was too cold. Number two, how did Hannah and her classmates feel about the teacher? They were afraid of him. Number three, what did Toby think about the Spanish lesson? The Spanish, the Spanish lesson was too difficult for him. Number four, did Toby have fun in the dancing class? Why, why not? No, because he was too embarrassed when his teacher started dancing. Number five, did Kate have a good time? Yes, he had.
a great time or a good time. Number six, why did the little monkey feel sad? Because it wasn't big enough to get to the table. So here are the answers. Please write them down. Now let us move to the next section of this lesson, which is about vocabulary. We're going to learn adjectives of feeling. So we're going to learn some adjectives that help you to express your feeling. And the words, they are written here. We have angry, bored, excited, tired, afraid, upset, interested, embarrassed, and surprised. And here we have pictures. I want you to try to match the words that we have here with the pictures. Then you're going to listen to check your answers. So now let us listen. CD 2. Track 34. Listen, check, and repeat. A. Tired. B. Upset. C. Afraid. D. Bored. E. Excited. F. Angry. G. Embarrassed. H. Interested. I. Surprised. Here are the answers. Please write them down. Now we're going to move to the workbook, exercise number one. Find eight more adjectives of the feeling or of feeling in the word search. So try to find eight words describing the feeling in this word square. And here are the model answers. Please write them down. Now let us move to exercise number two. Complete the sentence with the adjectives from exercise number one. Number one. I played tennis for two hours. Now I'm feeling very tired. Number three. Steve can't come to my party. I'm quite upset. I really wanted to see him. Number four. Oh no, not another romantic comedy film. I am really bored of them. The story is always the same. Number five. I was walking to school and I slipped on some ice in front of all my classmates. I was really embarrassed. Number six. We're going to an amusement park tomorrow. I'm very excited. I love them. Number seven. I can't believe Caroline can play three instruments. I'm really surprised. Number f number eight. Alan borrowed from me and he hasn't paid me back. I'm really angry with him. And the last one. My dad loves reading about science. He's really interested in it. And this is all that I have for today, my students. Have a nice day.